What's up, guys? I'm here with Coach Tony and Coach Pete. What's up, guys? How's it? Just getting some President's Day training in. Coach Tony is not training. Why not, Coach? I got tattooed on Saturday. <laughs> guys getting all tatted up. All right, guys. Just a couple mi- a couple moments to let people jump on. How's your weekend? It's good, sir. How, How about was, yours? How was Saturday here at the school? It was awesome. Electrifying, I'd say. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Saturdays are back. Dude, it was one of the best best Saturday mornings we've had in a while, I'd that say. That was exciting, man. Yeah. A lot of new kids, right? We had what? We had four? Four. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Four? Four, four intros? Yeah. Oh, man. And we had one in the front of You make us look so much better. I know, don't I? That's why you guys keep me around. It's the only reason why. I make everybody look better. All right, guys. Let me fix my hair, huh? You're going to need more than that to fix that. <laughs> All right, so uh, we want to go live. It's Monday morning, and um, a couple things. First things first, I'm emailing back and forth with one of the people who designs our website for us, and I noticed that she does this typical sign-off that I see with, like, Melissa and all them, and anybody who's, like, in the corporate world. She, we were corresponding last Friday, and she goes, Happy Friday. And I was like, happy Friday? Like, I, I remember when that was a thing for me, though. Yeah, like yeah, TGIF. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I want to respond and be like, get a job you like, and then you don't, you don't have <laughs> Every to Every day like, is Friday. It's Friday! Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, because in jiu-jitsu, we talk about, like, you know, having a case of the Mondays. Yeah. It's very different when you, when you train jiu-jitsu. Um, but, man, we had an awesome weekend. So it started, I would say, Friday night. What would you guys do Friday night? Cop class. How many people showed up? Packed. 20, like 20. I packed. think we had 24 total. We Both had Matt's going. Yeah. All right. And then, so, and then we still keep had. That. So let me preframe. We're going to talk about the explosive growth of jiu-jitsu right now, the incredible participation we have in our school currently right now, and the fact that we get leads for new students all day, every day. So every day. So people are dying to train jiu-jitsu. But we're going to talk about how great the school is going. Let's preface this by saying – we are still adhering to you know certain protocols. Like we have three mats, so when we talk about how many people we're, we're you know squeezing in here, we're spread out. Th- we're spread out. Like Two keep mats. in mind, like we have, man, we have like four thousand square feet of mat space now, divided across three storefronts. Yeah. So let's keep that in mind. Um, all right, so let's start with this, Coach Tony. What do you think is the fastest growing program that we have right now? Tiny sharks. Tiny <laughs> sharks. Tiny sharks. If you didn't know, that's that's ages three to five. And I I've been teaching martial arts professionally for about fifteen years now. And I even did it like, you know, part time at my uncle's school when I was growing up. I uh, I'm pretty good at teaching kids. But the one thing that like the white whale I would say in the jujitsu community was always that three and four, four and a half year old uh, age group. I never touched it. I wouldn't touch it with the 10 foot pole. <laughs> and then, you know, this guy comes along and he was like dying for it. He was the one that was asking me to, to launch that program. I would say it's probably because Jax was four years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wanted his kid yeah. to train. But anybody who has seen a Tiny Sharks class is always blown away. It's it, you just you do not get three, four, or five year olds to respond the way he does. Not only respond, but they're doing jujitsu. They're doing like incredible stuff. It's true. So I've seen people who are great with kids, and I've seen people who are great at teaching, and I've seen people who can like get kids to do certain things, like in soccer and gymnastics. But I've never seen all these things combined. And you know, it takes a lot for me to stand in awe of a kids instructor because. I was always pretty good at it. He's better than I am. It's it's really incredible. What is it about the Tiny Sharks program that it's exploding right now, and why does it work so well? I think it's the, it's the energy, man. It's the energy in the room. You know, there are a bunch of little kids. Um, I consider myself kind of like a big kid You're myself. Kid. Kid. Um, so being able to kind of become friends with them and build rapport and build trust and keep the energy high, keep it fun. Um, and look, we're just getting them to do what they naturally want to do anyway, right? Kind of roll around and, and wrestle, player, and, you right? know, it's, a, it's, it's one weird. big. We're just facilitating that one right. big playground, right. you know. All right, <laughs> it's a little bit more than that. It's because it's it. it, most, most, uh, you know, we've been to a lot of karate school. Like I've been around a long time now. Most three-year-old, four-year-old programs is just like herding cats. It's 
the parents drop them off for a half hour. Yeah. You guys like play they Power ba- they're Rangers. They're babysitting. They're babysitting. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll, they'll like you know do some calisthenics, but that is not what you're doing. No. What is making it work? Like you're running a jujitsu. We program. we have a, we have a structure. You know we yeah. have a we have a you know a, a timeline that we go by. You know where the kids get used to it, and then they become like a well oiled machine at that point. You know so they, they know, know what to expect. To expect. Yeah. You know we look at one technique all week long. You know we drill that technique. I ask them different questions about the technique all all week long, so they kind of know what they're what they're getting be, before. You know. Right. Yeah. Ahead of time, and you can so, see it after they're done after class when they're doing randori. Yeah, it, it's high level jujitsu. It, yeah, it, right, it, yeah. It, it, it's it's unbelievable. They I've move. Said, they I, move better than we do. It's ridiculous. And they move better than. Dude, we that's do. the thing. Like, even when we're teaching the adults, sometimes you'll hear me make reference. I'll be like, you know, if you watch two like toddlers wrestling around yeah. long enough, you'll see them do this. But there's a the challenge has always been like you know you watch little kids and you think man that kid would be great at jujitsu. Yeah. I wish we could get that kid to jujitsu, do yeah. jujitsu. We do. Like now you have these kids using their natural talents, doing high level jujitsu in a structured and fun environment. Yeah, I tip my hat. And, and they they have a blast. They yeah. have a blast. And so do I. That's that's the key. I have more yeah. fun than them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 More power to you, dude. It's impressive. The hardest part of the tiny sharks class is your face is sore after from smiling. Yeah. Every time I sit there or when I've helped out, I'm just like the whole time I'm like, this is like I, like when my kid's taking his yeah. first steps. It's the same joy. Dude, just I think the last stuff, the amazing. last four enrollments have been like three-year-olds. <laughs> and just picturing like a yeah. three-year-old in a gi with like yeah. the white belt tied around the waist, it doesn't get any more yeah. joyful than that, you know? Yeah. They're excited. Yeah. That's nah, the best dude, part. you're definitely suited for it. So the next program up is our Junior Sharks, which has always been good. Yeah. That's like yeah. kind of always been our bread and that butter. Is bread and it's butter, like, man. you know, six to 12 years old. It's our wheelhouse. Like eight-year-olds is, is like the, the majority of our like kids program and you know we're, we're incredible at that but it just seems like the last month it's been exploding crazy it's exploding and uh i mean we could talk about like what jujitsu gives people most of the people who are going to watch this video probably train they already know but uh i want to hear your take what is it what's so good about jujitsu for an eight-year-old kid what's it going to give them confidence confidence you see a lot of kids coming in and i'm sure you can attest to this too that uh the confidence is an issue heads they, they down. lack it heads down yeah. they don't make eye contact they don't talk they're not active they're too busy and you know watching youtube yeah. so I, I think kind of getting them outside their comfort zone works wonders for the kids you know opening yeah. their eyes to something brand new that physical push and pull response you know them being active and not just kind of sitting around it's you know, it's it's key. It's crucial. What yeah. are what are some of the secrets? Like when that kid, which happened, like one out of maybe more, like two out of three kids who come in are probably super shy. Yeah. Two out of three kids, like to the point where the kid who does come in and look you right in the eye and shake your hand, it, it, you're kind of taken aback. Like, right. oh, it's yeah. few and far kid. in between these days. <laughs> few um, and far in between. Which is understandable, man. Yeah. Like. You, this is cliche, but we're living in like a hyper connected world right now. Like you, you're watching me on Facebook right now, but the truth is, the kids are separate. Like they're not really engaged as much as they were. There's very little time for like unsupervised play amongst yeah. their peers, um, and you, you can see it affects them, yeah. especially yeah. with the year they just had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There has been a, like a very clear, drastic decline in kids like social skills and it's, you know it it's it's yeah. noticeable it's that's the, that's the, that's a scary thing. it's noticeable so how do you what are some of the tricks for when a kid comes in the door won't even leave the corner and how do you get him from not even looking up at your face to get getting him in a gi to getting him in, to line up with kids to taking a class to coming just, back just making him feel special man rolling out the red carpet letting him know that he's fully capable of doing this and then jujitsu kind of just does it for you yeah. you know what i mean like the, the that close quarters the close contact the exercise all the endorphins going yeah. jujitsu kind of you know takes over from there yeah, you know? being just a making him feel special yeah, yeah. making him feel like a ninja like a samurai you know because a lot of times these kids come in they have their their first oh s moment yeah oh wow yeah I, yeah this is that was amazing well one of my favorite things to do when i'm teaching the beginner kids class which it's probably my favorite class i'm yeah. sad i get yeah, back i know <laughs> I'm, I'm happy i'm pumped you know i teach if you guys didn't know i teach all the advanced classes all the kids advance all the adult advance and the downside is it coincides with the beginner classes so 
for like the last six months or so, I was able to teach both, and we changed the schedule. Yeah. But I'll jump back in yeah, there. Yeah. But one of my favorite things to do is if a kid's coming in for the first class, and you know they're shy, they're kind of like in their shell. The first thing I'll do after the warm up is live grip fighting. Yeah. Like wake literally, them up. wake them up a little bit. Grab somebody, shake them, try to throw them to the ground. And even if there's no technique involved, it does a lot of things. Like it gets your nervous system going, but it it pulls the kid out of the shell to the the realization like wow like we're grabbing yeah. people we're moving people this is like yeah, some just... serious stuff um so they go through their first class they're coming out of their shell a little bit and what do we what kind of things do you do to reinforce the experience like to make sure like like for example you catch them doing something right you yeah. give them a chance to succeed in front of their peers yeah of like, what are some examples of that um just having them demonstrate techniques in front of you know in front of everybody yeah making sure that you know they're on the spotlight and they know it and all in a positive light in a positive sense you know yeah. like hey look at how awesome you know johnny's doing his double leg you know let's everyone sit down and watch johnny do the double leg you know yeah. and then we'll clap and we'll cheer and we'll just make them feel like you know he's doing something right which he is you know that's it because that, you can't bs the kids no no like they They'll know right they know it. when you're just patronizing yeah, them and exactly. giving them like lip service so exactly. the, the thing is they are doing difficult stuff it's extremely difficult our job is to point out how really freaking hard it is and i point out on a daily basis like look you know not everyone in the world does jiu-jitsu yeah, no. because it's hard it's tough you're the one percent it's demanding so you guys should be patting yourselves on the back because you guys are training hard you guys are putting in the work you're focused you know it's it's like we say every saturday morning class what's everybody else doing right yeah, now yeah. they're sitting around they're eating, eating their cheerios, cheerios watching video TV. games it used to they're be doing eating, this. Uh, eating cocoa pebbles and watching uh spongebob, SpongeBob. yeah but I, is spongebob still a thing? we're showing our age when we show yeah, yeah, what, yeah what do they yeah. watch <laughs> yeah whatever's on youtube exactly right, they don't so even watch nickelodeon anymore yeah damn we gotta we gotta get a new metaphor but uh <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's a powerful thing. Um, the adult program, it's booming. And it, the litmus test for us in terms of the health of the school, I mean, we're, we're a special school. We've got a great thing going, and um, we have a very tight-knit community. But, you know, there's ebbs and flows to everything. We know that the school is doing incredibly well when the noon class is bumping. Yeah. Because most schools, if you drive by at noon on a Tuesday, the lights are off. And even the schools that, that have a class, it's like, you know, a few guys who, who just have agreed to meet up every, like, Tuesday. Not here, man. Like, today's Monday. We're probably going to have 15, 15, 16 people on the mat on a Monday. And that's not because it's President's Day. Because <coughs> tomorrow it's going to be the same thing. It's every yeah. day. So, you know, the adult program is booming. It's exploding. And uh, why do you think that is? Um. Dude, I mean, you can contribute to a couple of different things. One, the you know, we talked about the year we just had of people just being stuck in their house and isolated away from human contact. It doesn't get any more human contact than jujitsu, right? Yeah. So I think people are yearning for that, which they should be. You yeah. know, it sucks. It, it sucks being stuck in the house and all that stuff. But I also think that um, with all the, you know. The, Jiu-jitsu is, is the best form of, of self-defense, right? I mean, I don't think there's not going to be anything that's going to trump jiu-jitsu. And I think more people are being exposed to that. And I think more people are, are, are aware of that. Like, look, jiu-jitsu is the, the way to go. Yeah. If you really want to get in shape, if you really want to learn how to defend yourself, there's nothing better than jiu-jitsu. We had one of the new guys, his son's in the program, uh, Ryan, who's uh, 20 years of martial art experience. We were talking in a changer and it might be really high level, like yeah, high level, competitive. very high yeah, level, yeah. competitive. Huge, yeah, yeah. huge and he's guy. a massive yeah, guy. Yeah. We don't get any small guys anymore. Kind yeah, of upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we were talking in the back. He's like, I'm glad I never got into a fight with any of you guys. Yeah. It's he goes, you, he's a and he's a big legit human. Yeah. He's six two, too close probably too close to two fifty. He's just yeah. a big guy. Yeah. And he's like, nothing I've ever done unless I got lucky would work. He goes. Yeah. You guys would just take me to the ground and maul me. He had he was here one of the snow days when we did the open mat. Yeah. You know, and I, I got him afterwards when we were talking. I was like, So what do you think, man? And he's like, I just got mauled by a hundred and thirty pound guy. <laughs> eye opening, man. Who, eye opening. Who's only been training six months. Yeah. 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 And we you know, I love talking shop with martial arts guys because you know, I grew up doing every martial one martial art yeah. just like you did. Yeah. And it's just cool hearing like the different perspectives and everything and 
you know, the thing is, stand-up martial arts are super effective. Like, karate is super effective. Taekwondo is super effective. Yeah. But you've got to train at a high, high level for a decade before you're going to knock somebody out on the street. Yeah. But yeah. if you give me, like, six weeks with just, a, like, an able-bodied adult, I can make him a killer in six yeah. weeks. Yeah. And that's Thank what me, Ryan and I were talking about. Um, yeah, man. So the, the funny thing is, like, it's starting to shift a little bit, right? Like, it used to be one out of three people who came in, adults, were sent by Joe Rogan. Yeah. 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 Who, who do you think we hear mostly now? Oh, it's Jocko. Jocko. Yeah. Jocko, yeah. Dude, I took Jocko. I had a girl in my neighborhood. She's a research scientist at Penn. And we were just talking. This was the beginning of the pandemic. And I think I told you, she was doing uh, some of the early studies on a vaccine. And we were talking, and I had my hoodie on because that's all I wear is jujitsu stuff. And uh, she's like, uh, "Oh, jujitsu? Where, where do you do that?" I listen to Jocko all the time. I want to yeah. get it. I want my kids in there. Yeah. And we just started talking. And she goes, "Jocko, everything out of her mouth was Jocko." Yeah. Jocko. Well, we just had that family yeah. come in, right? Where yeah. they watch, they watch the, they listen to the podcast yeah. together yes. as a family, and that's what brought them in. And dude, the, the great thing Jocko is doing is, you know, Rogan. He was always he was the original ambassador yeah. for yeah. jujitsu. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he just spoke so highly and eloquently about it. But it was only, it was too, like, bro for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Jocko, like, he, he takes a different approach. It's like you, you owe it to yourself in terms of like, personal responsibility right. to know how to defend yourself, how to, like, you know, embrace challenges and all those other things that jiu-jitsu gives you. But he's done even more for kids. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. Like, he, I knew he wrote those, like, Way of the Warrior kid yeah. books. Yeah. To help kids deal with bullying, with lack of confidence, with like lack of fitness, and they're actually really well written. Uh, he turned that into a series of podcasts, which now we're starting to see people come in and that they mention it. Yeah. Why? Why is that such a big thing? Why is that in such high demand right now with parents? Because what other outlet, like what other tool, do parents have there at their disposal to help kids build confidence? healthy lifestyle habits um and another surrounded by positive mentors yeah. Yeah. and learning how to deal with failure too that's huge, huge man because that's, that's that's taboo key. like especially around here marlton yeah. Yeah. here's a yeah. trophy yeah. here's a well, trophy not only that but like there is this thing going yeah. on like you got to be like yeah. you know at the top you got to be on the travel yeah. team well yeah. my buddy does travel hockey so i got to do that too yeah. i don't want to do it but you gotta just keep it up with the joneses yeah. that's yeah, exactly man. what it is there's yeah. a, and that's good and it's bad because it's good because you're giving your kid look you need you you can't just sit back and coast right no. uh, you know you know i yeah. know a bunch you're, of guys you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna that, fail right? yeah. but that's okay yeah, yeah. It, like you overcome you and win that's, learn. and that's when the, the kids really start we were grow. talking about it yeah. after open mat yesterday professor steve who's been training for 27 years or whatever he was talking about back when you know he was learning early on in the in the, in the early 1800s how <laughs> jiu-jitsu was and it was you win, you learn. You know, you learn through your failures. Yeah. If you're always winning and right. then you fail, the most place. people that, right. yeah, right. first right. off, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. You're not yeah. training yeah. with yeah. the right yeah. people because you need to get your butt handed to you. And it happens. That's the beauty of jujitsu. It, everybody, ha it's the ebb and flow. We talked about it. You're going to be sailing high. It's not high. if you're going to fail. It's when you it's going to happen. No, you're, you're going to fail. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. single yeah. time yeah. you train. Yeah. 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 Whether it's, the minute miss on a technique because yeah. you're a little sloppy or somebody's or just kind of laying really, on top of you for seven <laughs> minutes. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. So, I mean, you know, we, we've talked about it a million times, yeah. but I just can't imagine a better like vehicle for teaching a kid that one, you're going to fail two, it's okay to fail, yeah. but three, that it's not okay to yeah. fail and just like receive. Give up. Yeah. yeah. Like really what the power and what we're teaching is not, it's okay to fail. That's not what we're doing here. What you're, we're doing you're is capable of pushing forward. Exactly. Yes. You like we expect you to to put in the work and the effort and everything to figure out the way to overcome that one thing that made you. Fail. If you do yeah. it, if you put the work in, you will not fail you, that way exactly. again. Just, you will be better. In now, end. Just why like, is jujitsu so effective though? A few reasons. One, they get immediate feedback. Instant feedback. One hundred. Right. So we start class with an arm and guillotine, right? And the kids can't do it. Yeah. By the end of the class, they can. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they've overcome like frustration and things like that. But what do we do right after? Live, live training. Live training. And then they're doing it in live training. So yeah. even if like, you know, they think we're you know giving them lip service, like you you can do anything you want. At the end of the day, like 
we could be doing ballet and it's the same thing. Like they couldn't do a pirouette in the beginning of class and now they can. Yeah. Yeah. But jujitsu, when you go live and you're your fight, it's combat, right? But it's safe because we're not striking. Yeah. You are getting immediate feedback. On you know last January, Bobby was beating me up, taking my back and choking me out. But today, I passed his guard and mounted him, and I armbarred him. Yeah. That feels amazing. Good. Really it doesn't good. feel better for like an eight year old boy. Yeah. And trust me, I, I was an eight year old boy in martial arts. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I know yeah. how that feels. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, in terms of the adult program exploding, it's, yeah, it's people like Jocko and, and Joe Rogan and Tim Ferriss and, you know, Ashton Kutcher yeah, and yeah, Demi yeah. Lovato yeah. And, and Keanu Reeves. Like, all these people are, are you know, huge proponents of jujitsu now. But it's, uh, it's like you said, people need human contact. It's like you said, people haven't felt this unsafe in a very long time. Yeah. Like, has there ever been a better time to have something in your life that makes you feel safe physically that gives you human connection right yeah. that that allows you to like uh encounter challenges and and figure out ways to overcome them so you're growing as a person if you can think of one like thing that's better one resource no, is better no. you let me know because i'll shut down the school and i'll open up one of those yeah. well do you, you hear it every day i at least i hear it every day and i'm sure you do yeah. too with the adults like Man, I was having a really bad day today, yeah. and now so I feel awesome. Door. And yeah. now I'm leaving. I feel, you know, reinvigorated. I feel better about myself. I, yeah. you know, the the bad day that I had has been washed, washed away. away. These you know, mats, which is incredible. Ninety nine point nine percent of everybody's else from that day. I mean, it is. I mean, you know, unfortunately, it's part of life, and it's, it seems to have happened a lot over the last few months. But somebody loses a parent. Where do they go? Yeah, here. Somebody, yeah. you know, like something bad happens in their life. Where do they go? Yeah. They don't take a week off of training. Like, yeah. in fact, like... You need it. There's somebody over right there. I'm looking at him. Literally laid his dad to rest and, came, and skipped work, came to the noon class. Yeah. Because he had to clear his head. Yeah. That's Because he had Clearing to be around people yeah. who care about it. Exactly. Yeah. Then when my mother was sick and we were, you know, it was early COVID, early zombie flu. And... I said to professor, I'm going to do these Zoom calls. And we just get the community together. And just communicating with everybody and talking to everybody, yeah. man, it made me feel so much better. Right. And, you know, even when she was really sick, I was still able to take an hour, two hours. Talk. I was like, man, I owe everybody here a ton of gratitude because they got me through one of the worst times. Yeah. And I would get off the call, then I'd go pick my mom up, put her in a wheelchair, put yeah. her in the bed. Yeah. To, you know that whole thing. Yeah, and you were like prepared to do that, yeah. like spiritually. Yeah, I mean, you're around like your crew, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I need that. You know, you need that, and that's the one thing that some of the worst times I've had in my. I, I, I would tell a professor, I'd come in from work, and I'd be like, "Man, what a freaking day!" But I walk in here, all of a sudden we're breaking stones, I'm laughing, high fiving, and hugging, and everything's yeah. forgotten. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Everything's to see. Everybody respects you. Yeah. So, yeah, well, if not everybody. By our verbiage and you know, <laughs> yeah. word choice, you wouldn't think so. We break stones because we love it. Dude, you know yeah. who said it on, on Instagram? Uh, Hodges? Remember, he put up that post about like this being his family. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was Hodges. very, very well said. And I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. Because um, it also it. points yeah. to the fact that there's no BS here, you yeah. know? It's truth. Yeah. It wasn't Hodges. Was it, it was Hodges. I think it was Mike Hodges. It was one of them. One of the twins. But he said something along the lines of like, you know, I'm not spiritual, so this is my church. Uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that was yeah, Mike. Yeah. That was oh, Mike. Yeah, yeah. It was Mike. Yeah, yeah. I I'm spiritual, that. and I don't want either of you two to learn any jujitsu because it's very scary. It's, it's bad, bad for everybody. It's going to be bad for everybody. Yeah, I'm, I don't follow anybody, so it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but man, I just, I really liked it. And he was like pointing to the fact that like everybody's so tight so quick, and, and there's no BS here. Yeah. Like you're free of all like the. That's it. The craziness, right? And there's so much enthusiasm too, and it's it's like it's honest, it's organic, and it just brews, it's genuine, and it man. brews, it's and it brews, yeah. and you see people yeah. Yeah. that they'll come in and you know, just watching a class, like they'll come in an intermediate class. You're going, oh, this is Hogwarts, man. This is like yeah. black magic in yeah, here. Yeah. I want to learn more. I want to learn yeah, more. Yeah. And it's like, well, do your 
due diligence, get your stripes, you come in. But they're everybody just come in and they're like just enthused. Dude, yeah. and that, that doesn't go away. The no. Better, what's better than like a big Saturday class? And, you know, like I was showing like the reverse X guard entry yeah. and I showed the underhook so you could grab the foot. Yeah. And still Al's like, ooh. Yes. <laughs> like, you, you know, it's still, you see one little thing and it yeah. changes. Yeah. It's just so uh, exciting. One yeah. little, it's funny how just one little thing, like the underhook with the gable grip. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that helped me immeasurably. And you just get like excited a, about it. Yeah. I, I get you think about it all day. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I get to go do jujitsu. Yeah, and you're kind of, Eve, how long have you been trained? Overall, over nine years. And you're still learning new things every That's single day. That's the beauty day. of it. We, awesome. it's, it's incredible. It never stops. Like I said last week, you, we watch, how many times have we narrowed down a 30 second clip from the Worlds or ADCC and yeah. we just backwards, forwards, backwards, yeah. forwards. And then we'll come in here and go, did you look at it? What'd you, what'd you get at? I think he did. Dude, it's the, just, the other wow, day, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Flow Grappling's Instagram, and I'm, I was on the couch with the girls. You know, they're watching God knows what. <laughs> and uh, I was like, whoa! And Melissa runs in, you all right? Are you okay? Yeah. I was like, you guys see his guard pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's yeah. still like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. We it's got awesome. a new class coming in, guys. I just wanted to, um, I don't know, talk it out. Like, what is it that right now so many things are coming together? that jujitsu is the place to be is exploding. It's exploding across like all demographics. Yeah. We have three year olds up to, I just got an inquiry from guys 59. Awesome. Just had like double knee replacement where he's like, I gotta do this. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I just watched all your videos. Yeah. I wanna try it. Nice. And he's like, do you think I can do it? Absolutely. Like, oh, yes. Of course, man, yeah. of yes. course you can. Um, it's exploding right now. And I wish we were better at articulating the amazing things that happen on this mat. I think we try our best, yeah. but at the end of the day... But you can't describe what happens. I mean, you could say, describe the movements, but to describe what happens inside. Yeah. yeah. That, that when uh, somebody that's taken their first class and they come in and, you know, the intermediate or the fundamentals class, we're like, welcome to the academy. And then we're yeah. taking them through and they can't do a back break fall. They can't do this stuff. But then they get on the mat and they do one thing and they went, I can't wait to come back. Yeah. Nah. I can't yeah. wait to come yeah, back. Yeah, they get hooked right away. Yeah, yeah, right away. Where do I sign up? Yeah. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. All right, guys. We got a noon class coming in, but uh, we'll check back in with you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Awesome, guys. Good job. Have a good one. Come in and trade. It's good for you.